What's going on, everyone? Darkwater here, and welcome back to Airport CEO. We are back in our recreation of the Ted Stevens Anchorage International Airport. Last time we got Concourse B up and running. We got most of Concourse C up and running. We do still have the C5, but can't do much about that because of the hangar that we're just going to demolish and move. So hopefully you guys are excited to be back in the continuation of this. Uh, we're going to take out all of this, in fact. So that can all go. In between the last episode and this episode, I did a little bit of tweaking, you might have noticed. Uh, added this service road in, which meant uh, shifting everything down two squares to get this little area in. Uh, I feel that that's a little bit more useful than this one, so we will probably take out part of this, being that part. I might actually have to take out that center area as well. I I know. There's, there's not going to be a taxiway there for a minute. And I probably should have waited until... Uh... Oh, you're just not going to do it. Okay. Probably should have waited till all of that was gone. Um, also, shifted everything else down two squares. Because as I was staring at the uh, Google Maps image, there was... There's the, uh, the service road that I discussed briefly that just kind of ran along all of the... Uh, all of the outer sides of the stands. And I didn't want to add it here. So I shifted everything down two squares so I could actually get that in. This continues on that way. It also then breaks diagonally down, but obviously since we can't do diagonals. Um, we're going to take it along this one. And yes, I know I just took that out. We're going to do that. We're going to pause for a quick second. We're going to come back and build some uh, taxiway there. What is this width? Is it five? It is five. Okay. And we will connect that back up. So these flights are okay. We are going to fix some of the traffic issues in time because this is eventually going to be a one way and then one way down, around, and up. So that's going to be taking place. I can build my end of the terminal over here. Um, there's actually a gate there, isn't there? That seems odd, but okay. Is there a gate? There's a gate on Google Maps, but not on the actual uh, dot.alaska.gov slash ANC app page. So we're going to come in, we're going to extend this over a little bit. And we're going to come up to the other floor here. There we go. And we will extend that out so that we can get this last uh, gate working. All right, there we go. Okay, everybody's rock and roll in here I'm gonna come through we are gonna take this out helps if I'm on the correct floor we are gonna take this section out we will take that section out at some point I will uh, might as well do it now can't do it now oh not there we'll take all of that out <laughs> And probably want to take out that wall. And thank you. Mark this as a secure zone, and we will get a medium desk. Drop it in there. And this is going to be the edge of Concourse C. And so there is again on the unsecure side so the the land side there's a little path that'll take you 
little closed in path that'll take you over to the international stand so we will uh look at getting that in place today as well and can i take you out yes okay i don't know if there's a way to just remove the service road from that i haven't seen a way but uh we'll see We'll let you just kind of uh, roll on through. And there we go. Nope. There we go. You'll get connected up. And all you guys will be happy again and, you know, be able to fly out as you need. So we're going to let you guys get Finish built, building all of that. We got rid of the hangar. And uh, I'm going to extend this taxiway over. We're going to extend the taxiway up. And we're going to figure out where this international section is going to go, which is also known as the North Terminal. Come on, just build that, thank you. Okay, now we've got planes that can depart. Everything's good there. We're gonna extend this over. And we're gonna come across seven. That's 14, that's not what I wanted. So we'll go across seven. Because we are gonna be using the large stands to get some of the big boys in here this time and we're gonna come over we'll come down we'll come over and there we go take that down the there is a service road again that uh, will get in place but I kind of want to get this built so that we can kind of clean up the path that planes are taking so whenever they land from either of these two they'll come up just like this guy from Grand Forks make a right hand turn and can go to any of the stands here I don't like this uh, let's extend this out and then do that and then I can I get rid of that now? Yes. Okay. We'll do that so it's a little bit more... I don't know what word I want. The reason why I want to kind of deal with the international stands and at least get that mapped out is so that we can get the police, fire, the hangar over here, we're going to need a large hangar as well as a medium hangar. And you're 300k. And look at that. We're going to do two. We'll do insufficient funds. <laughs> um, there's not shops or anything over here, so we're going to squish this down a little bit because it's not very wide compared to the other sections of terminal the same with this area here for C uh, the main bulk of it stops right about C2 so we'll probably come down and that'll be the bulk of where uh, ticketing is where security is so that will be a thing. But the rest of this down here is relatively skinny. So there's not a lot of space. Uh, it's 300k. So, because I want to get the other large stand on this side. So we can build out where the taxiway goes, where the hangars are going to be. Uh, police and fire as well. Ooh, hold on. 
Oh yeah, that's not going to work. Hold on. Oh, close. That service road continues through, I just noticed. And it goes all the way down to where the police and fires actually uh, live. These two need to shift down two squares. So that we can get this service road all the way across. So you're going to go there and you're going to continue going that way. This will also allow fuel from the fuel depot up here to just come down, head straight across to, uh, I thought I said demolish you. But that'll give us a little bit of cash. We can uh, drop you in. Flip, flip. Oh, insufficient funds? Fine. And seven. Okay. Let's get. What am I looking for? I want that service road. We will extend through. But this is where the international terminal is going to be. And continuing past that, we've got the police and fire, as well as the field maintenance facility, the AFSC, Anchorage Fuel and Servicing Company. So all of that's just kind of tucked away over on the side here. There's a windy service road next to it. But there's a little bit of space right here. So we'll leave a couple squares. Um, we'll continue you down a little bit further. The public road. If we're going to do that, it's going to have to live here. And I think I'm okay with that. But further at this end is, uh, there's DHL, there's FedEx, there's UPS, all have uh, just massive warehouse hangers down here, which is why we're going to add in those hangers over here. But this is where we're going to do the catering depot, the fuel depot, all of that. Service road runs down. There's a couple uh, empty stand areas. Kind of in up here. We're going to take the service road. Let's go over one more. Because there's a little bit of a space. We'll take that over. There's a little bit of a space. Uh, the service road actually winds over a little bit. I'm just going to leave it straight. But... Catering needs an external access point. Is there a gate attached to that? Where does that go? It's actually a taxiway? Yes, that is the taxiway. Where do you go? Oh, you go down to Lake Hood. That's interesting. Okay. Slight confusion. There is a, a taxiway that connects up up here. That connects way down here to Lake Hood. If you don't remember what Lake Hood was, it's the uh, seaplane base. So there is a taxiway that gets you from the seaplane base to 
along uh, the large air stand, uh, the international stands, and it connects up to the runways up here. Interesting. I don't think we're gonna add that in though. As uh, as nice as that would be to have in, I don't think that's gonna be something we do add. Um, where does that road connect? Ah, it connects right there. It connects to Postmark Drive, which then circles around and uh, eventually connects up to uh, the International Airport Road. So basically there's going to be an offshoot that goes over here and we will do a uh, security gate along over on this side. But in the meantime, we will uh, continue kind of building on. We'll do that. We'll take the service road down a little bit further. Uh, I'm almost guaranteeing we don't have space for this flight. Yeah, no, we don't. Can we? No. Can we squeeze? No. No. No, we don't. I'm, I'm sorry. We don't even have a hangar for you right now. Uh, let's get the catering depot real quick. Uh, let's pause as well. Catering depot. Uh, service road goes on that side. So we'll uh, tuck you right there. I need a vehicle checkpoint. And I think we're going to just drop it in there. Here's where things do get a little hand wavy just because... This would represent the uh, the field maintenance facility, which handles some of the fuel. This is a, what did I say? The uh, fuel, Anchorage Fuel and Service Company. We're going to have to flip that to uh, just being a, uh, a waste depot. We will need to connect up this public road, won't we? Don't know where that's gonna go. Actually, we can get rid of a good chunk of this, can't we? You can all go. And we will at some point move security in here. It sits roughly here. Uh, how are we doing on cash? We're okay on cash. Um, police and fire. So police and fire sit on De Havilland Avenue that connects onto the secured side of uh, the airport. So there's a there's public access for it. And there's also only a single building for the two. So we're going to connect it up here for police. We will connect the fire next to it. And we will finally have some emergency services. I mean, since we are running at that, we can... Uh, Uh, De Havilland Avenue actually ends right there. Tug Road comes in this direction, so let's extend the public road down. Uh, I... I... Accept, I guess? Maybe we can get this... No, we can't get that built in time. Things are getting a little cramped over here. The hangars are going to have to go above. Because I don't think there's much I can do. We've got actually space over here. The hangars would go way over here, but again, we just don't have the map space. So we can continue... 
How are we looking financially? Uh, okay. We'll continue this over. I think that it went one too far. Yeah. Seven. Let's take that. Actually, we'll leave that. I'm going to go ahead and just connect this straight up so that the game has an easier path. Uh, I'm going to need that built, aren't I? You're going to be one way down, though. Because that way, this at least is a uh, its own loop, if you will. There we go, somebody's finally going to take that way around. How long are we? Oh, this is only at 12%. That's, that's, that's going to be a thing for a bit, isn't it? But, we've got catering we can do. We also have, uh... waste that we can take care of as well um how are we doing this why is the location oh there's a fence there c let's take out that fence this is going to be temporary just to get The Catering Depot and Waste Depot operating at least. Well, Waste we could probably do right now. Because all we we don't need access to the public road. So let's get some uh, service vehicles. Oh, hey, we can actually sell all these stair trucks, can't we? Uh, that takes care of all of that. Let's look at buying some vehicles. We will get to baggage at some point. Don't need stair trucks. I don't think that's built yet. I'm going to go ahead and order catering. Even though it's not necessarily something that we can uh, use. Oh, we've got police that we can put in. Let's purchase is it six or eight. I don't remember, but I think that's two and two. How many spaces do you have? One, two, three, four. Yeah, it's eight. Okay. Um, yeah, catering. Hold on. I don't have a contract for you either, so it doesn't matter. Can I have public road, please? Thank you. At least get that in place. Okay. Hey, four stairs at 1%. Everybody else just absolutely hates us, and that's... We will fix that. The economy crash is not helping. People are getting through security. We're getting fuel. Services is going okay as well. You're gonna need a vehicle depot up here as well. I mean, there are parking areas. I may end up tweaking this in between episodes, we'll see. Just to get a little bit of uh, parking area back here. I've got a feeling we just have a ton of vehicles that are just everywhere right now. Catering, cabin cleaning, yeah. What are you guys building right now? Oh, you're finishing this. Got it. However, this is good to go. Uh, we're going to make this 
one way to the right. You're going to be one way up. You're going to be one way up. All right. So when planes come in, they land, they're going to go up, they're going to make a right. They can go down to these stands, they can keep going, they can go down to this one, down to that one. Or if they're going to the right-hand side of B, they can just go down here. If they're going to C, they go down, come across. Leaving, they come over and go up. And they come up to this one and go across. I do still have this runway running left to right. And I think that's going to kind of clean things up a little bit. I'm inclined to leave this guy here. So that these planes don't have to go all the way down and around, but uh, we'll see on that. I'm going to set this two-way so they can go down and up. And I think that'll be a lot easier on planes as well. So they don't have to cross over that and kind of make things more uh, difficult there. If you are one way down, that's fine for the planes... For all these GA flights, like this guy, he'll just drop down and head right to it. Yeah. I think that's working a little bit better for us. Things seem to be going smoother. We've got a rough idea on where... The international section is going to end up being. Go ahead and uh, drop those two stands in. This one might have to change. That way we don't have the, the large planes having to come down, around, and up. We'll just take them straight over here. But that's going to have to wait for another day. But thank you all for watching. I appreciate you guys for being here and look forward to seeing you guys again in Airport CEO. And as always, I hope you guys have yourselves a great day. Bye.